Hey guys, it's Riptide, and I'm back here with another video. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit out of the ordinary. I've never actually done this before, but I'm going to be showing you how to make a super simple game music soundtrack. So, a lot of people, when they're getting into music, the first question that they ask is, well, not necessarily how do I make the music, but what app do I get? What is the best sort of music app I can get? And I'm going to answer that right now. For a lot of people, the music apps that are professional and the ones that are very good usually cost a few hundred dollars, and yes, that is very expensive. So for an, someone who has like a low budget or is an indie game developer, that might be a little bit out of reach. So I'm here to give you this option. The one that I use is called LMMS. It is a completely free software, and it's it's very good. It's it's just, it's one of my favorites. I've actually tried FL Studio, and I like this even more. Yeah, I know that's hard to believe, because I, I guess personally for me, I don't really make complex soundtracks. So I guess that's probably why I don't like FL Studio as much. It's super easy to just hop on, and in like half an hour, or a little bit longer, you'll have a nice little soundtrack ready to use in your game. So once you have LMMS downloaded, this might seem a little bit intimidating at first. You got all these weird buttons, you've never really started music before, like what does this all do? Well, I'm going to show you. If you have nothing open, this is what your LMMS is going to look like. Okay, and in the top left, you're going to see a lot of buttons. So this one right here makes a new project. This one right here creates a new project from a template. So that's like, they have like these built-in songs that you can go and load in and stuff like that, and that's what that means. You can open an existing project, so if you made one, you can go and open that, so you can work on things and save them and open them up again. And this is for recently opened projects. You can also just go to File, and it'll have all of them right here. But you don't need to worry about the rest of these things right here. The ones you're going to have to worry about are these things right here. So, Show Hide Song Editor. If you click on this, this stuff is going to start to come up. This is basically where you're going to make your real music. So, let's go ahead and make a new project. And let's discard. So this is what it will look like when you make a new project. So you have the song editor open right here. Okay, so before we do anything else, if you want to make a simple beat, okay, there's something called the beat and bass line. And if this, if you accidentally close that, like let's say you have it open over here, this is the beat and bass line editor. You can click on it from your song editor, and this will be opened up. Okay, and let's say you accidentally close this out, you can go up over here on the left side and click that and it'll come right back. So you don't need to worry about any of that. But for any beginner, remove all of these tracks for now. We don't want any of them in there. Okay, so let's say, what kind of music do we want to make? Mm, let's make, I'll, I'll remake one of the songs I've already made so I can speed up the process a little bit. Okay, so what do we want to do first? The first thing that we're going to have to do is figure out what sounds we want. If you go over here to the left side of the screen, you're going to notice a couple of tabs. This one is your projects that you currently have, so I already have some over here. The next one are my samples. So these are some free samples that are already built in uh, to LMMS. You can click on these right here, you open these up, these bases, just like that. And yeah, it's really, really loud. I'm sorry about that. That's just how it is. Obviously, you can easily modify the sound of these once you actually put it into your song editor. And to do so, once you find the sound you want, you can either double click on it, like that, or you can drag it in, like this. So for things like bass, if you double click on it, it's going to open up, it's going to make one of these. So the beat and bass line editor is like it's super easy to create like a really really simple beat like let's say we want to make like a like that so that you can just do that and press play and depending on what sound you dragged into here it'll play that sound so we can have like something like this something really funky I'm just doing that as an example but that's how the beat baseline editor works and now once you have whatever sounds you want over here once it sounds like what you want go over here onto your song editor and you just click right there that's all you have to do and it'll make this little blue thing 
and you can drag to extend it to however long you want on the song editor. So you can open this up even more. You can drag this to 25 seconds or whatever, but we will not be using the beat line bass editor. So I'm just going to remove that. Okay, so let's say we just want to have a normal sound. Like, uh, let's go instead to my samples. Let's go over here to my presets. Now, this is where I use most of my instruments. These are where the really good samples are, in my opinion. Go click this little folder right here called Zin Add Sub FX. It's under my presets, and it'll have a ton of sound effects. Now, some of these might not seem the most high quality, and that's to be expected because it's a free software. But uh, there's some amazing sounds in here you can use. Tons and tons of kinds of sounds and tons and tons of kind of extra effects like reverb. I'm pretty sure I've even auto-tuned some things on here, which is pretty cool. There's a lot you can do with this. There's the xylophone, vibraphone, there's all sorts of things. You've got the violins, you've got the harps, the pianos, the bass, the drums, and all sorts of these weird sound effects that, uh, that are really, really helpful. So let's go ahead and grab one. Let's go to our collection. So collection has a lot of sounds. You can see that. Let's go grab something that's like a xylophone. And actually, sorry, it's just instinct for me to go really fast. So once we've dragged it into our song editor, okay, the xylophone thing shows up here. Now where it says volume, you can actually change the volume to go higher or lower, okay? And right here is the pan. So if we go ahead and play the sound now, uh, actually it won't work because we don't have it inside of our song editor, but if we were to go in our song editor and just say place a note, you see how it's in the left earphone so this is like if it's in the right earphone or the left or what that, that's that kind of stuff basically panning and okay so let's go ahead and actually make our beat so if you click on any empty black bar it'll create one of these things it'll create a piano roll and this is where you can actually make your music so if you click over here anywhere it makes a note and you can drag it around you can extend it like this however long you want it to last and you can change how how high or how low it is so we want to make sort of like a very upbeat so let's get started on that okay it looks like it's going a little bit too fast. So slow that down, make notes long longer. Ba, ba. Okay, there we go. Okay, that needs to be a bit deeper. It's really this simple. And let's go into some of the more advanced things though first. Uh, or not even advanced. So under where it says right here, 116, this is how large uh, like your note is or how how like accurate you can get in terms of how you resize your note. So if we turn this to 1.32, we can resize it to a very small little amount. And you'll notice that the, the other black bars in between the green lines are a lot smaller. But 1 16th is usually good. You don't really need anything more than that. So you can just keep it like that. And this is how like wide it is. If you, for some reason, need to see like in your entire note, or you don't want to like be doing this the entire time, you can change the zoom, or if you need to select your entirety of your song, uh, you can use that. So over here, we say last note. This is the actual size of the note. So if we say 1 4th, it's like that. 1 8th is like that and so forth so we can just keep this to the last note so whatever note we just put last it'll be the same length usually good like that okay and then scale uh, this is you don't really need to know about this right now what this thing over here does is this changes to the note kind so let's say we want to play like a major chord you can select major and it'll put three of these notes in a major chord and you can select tons and tons of kinds of chords to whatever you whatever you really want and you can change this to no chord if you want to make something really simple or something very accurate 
So now that we've got that set up, let's continue making our song. So we've got something like this. Okay. There we go. That's the note that I want. It's all about your creativity here. There's nothing I can really do to help you. this now. Okay, I didn't like that. Let's undo with control Z to where it was before. See this now. Duh. Okay, that sounds like a nice little piano roll. Let's try this out. Although I don't like this. This note is killing me. Okay, I think that'll work. Okay, cool. So we've got a little xylophone. Now, what do we want to go along with that little xylophone? Uh, let's just, let's pace this a few times. So we'll reach uh, 25 seconds, I'm sure. So we have this little beat now. Although... Hold on a second. It looks like it's not. Okay, that's very strange. Let's go fix that real quick. I don't like what's happening there with uh, our beat. It's because it's, uh, oh, okay. It's okay, that makes sense. But um, I'm, I'll actually just keep it like this for now. I'll just have little a uh, one uh, little section like this. It's only six seconds it looks like, but it'll still serve the purpose that we need. So let's actually hmm, let's go make it sort of like uh, a windy theme. So let's go find some nice little sound effects. Let's just look around for like. That could be good. That sounds like a nice little sound effect. Maybe you. Not you, that's for sure. There are tons of weird sound effects. Ah, here we go. 
Okay, let's get rid of that one and let's create this a simple six second wind surf. Or actually, looks like it's seven second. That's is that even a thing you can say? You misthought something? That's weird. Okay, let's bring the volume down on that. And I feel like it could have some some oomph into it, you know, like a little a little bit of a beat. So let's actually go over here and we can get a bass. Now, personally, the f my favorite bass is actually this one. So let's get some bass drum number four. Uh, like something like this. Matter of fact, let's just put one here. Like that. Uh, maybe we can change that a little bit. Don't like where it, where it's starting. Or in a matter of fact, let's change it a little bit. Maybe we should not add bass to it. I'm just thinking. I think it's because we need to start it. We need to align it properly. Uh, actually, instead of making a bass line, let's actually just straight up add this bass drum over here. Copy this and paste it here. And we can obviously modify it. Like that. Okay. And, oh, is that a high note up here? What's that doing? I see an extra note up there somewhere. Where are you? Alright, let's bring you down here. Let's bring you back. Call it back to here. I'm just trying to align it with the music. difficult actually to line it right okay that sounds all right let's actually change this one so they're a bit lower because it's a lower note on the top. Let's move these last ones a little bit over. this up perfectly. Let's 
one must be perfect. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. For some reason, this is taking a really long time. But you know what? I think it, it'll work just fine. It's a really simple little thing. Even bring down the tempo up here to make it play a little bit shorter. I kind of like it when it's like separated up. like that. So that that's a nice little thing that you could just copy all of it and then loop it over for like uh like a minute or something like that. And you got a, like a cool little a cool little theme just like that. And obviously this is like this is a super basic one. You can go way more advanced like I'm actually going to really quickly show you how to add a reverb, because I feel like that's something that's really important. Oh my god, I just died. Oh, Someone help me. Anyways, what was I saying? I'm going to show you how to add reverb real quick. So if you go ahead and just straight up click on your instrument, right? That's in here. It'll open up this thing. Okay, go to the FX section. Don't mind all that weird stuff. Uh, that's not, I won't explain that just yet. But go to FX, go to Add Effect, search Reverb SC, and press OK. So this is the wetness, the wet level, so you'll hear it. You hear that? That's, 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 the, uh, that's the reverb working. So you can go back here and change it, so let's make it less. positive one or a negative one so this could be I would say not to have this in for like the, your main sound really but for like stuff like a background sound like let's say we want to add uh, another one of these like a vibraphone and for our vibraphone, we can add, we can literally copy what we had and say, oh, let's put some reverb on it. Put down the volume. Have like a nice little, high little sound in the background. And if we want, we can even pan this to like our left side. it again like that or in these in this effects right here or actually that won't work will it yeah okay well I think we'll stick with Let's try Silver Bell. I actually like the Silver Bell a lot. Let's take some of those notes out.
and we can just loop that over and over and it it can sound it can sound pretty cool you can just mess around with it and like i said this is like this is not like a good song i will never make something like this and put it as like a real work but it's super cool you can make stuff that's much better than this you can go and test out all of the different kinds of like audio files and if you are really wanting to do vocals go up here to this thing called instrument plugins drag in an audio file processor click on it and where's this folder icon click on the folder icon and just like that you can go and access and put in mp3 files of possibly you singing and you could change stuff, stuff like that and you could auto tune it all right well that's going to be it for this this was a pretty interesting video we taught you how to make a pretty basic beat we taught you the basics of lmms how to add in some instruments how to add a couple of basic effects to instruments we showed you where to find the good sounds and all that great stuff and you should be now ready to go and make your own song but before we finish let's make sure that we know how to export I'll write this file, just simply go over here and press export, and then go to your desktop, and you can actually say oh, OGG, uh, a dot .wave, or mp3, save it for whichever one you want, wherever you want. And that'll wrap it up, so thank you for listening to this, I hope this taught you a little bit on how to make a super basic soundtrack for your game. I just would like to say that I've never even touched music, okay, in the past, since, since the past three months. I only just started getting into it, and along with all this other stuff I've had to be doing, like programming and everything. Okay, I had to check out I was still recording. I don't know how sad that would be. 28 minutes of footage gone. But anyways, this was pretty cool. We made a pretty basic beat, like I said, in under half an hour. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.